Hey, how's it going guys? Sri Prevail. It's been a while I have uploaded a video, so I apologize to you. I'm working on a new video. I hope you would be loving it. So meanwhile, enjoy this one. So if you know that there was an app called uh, Gboard, which was uh, inbuilt in the Google Keyboard app, which was available for iOS devices. It's now available for Android. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how to update it. Go to the Play Store. Type Gboard or Keyboard, Google Keyboard app. And uh, now I just updated the app. So you would be seeing what's new. You would be seeing the Meet Gboard. Search Google and share right from your keyboard. Or if you want to make sure, check out the image. You would be seeing the G app, right? the G logo right below that area. This confirms that the Google app has that update. Update the app. Leave for a while, let it update, then go and check wherever you want or I'll, in this case, I'll be using the Twitter app. Right now you could see that there is the G app logo. I'm keep saying app, I don't know why. So I am just typing like Google Pixel and I just forgot. For example, I don't know the specifications. I go here, I write Google Pixel specification. You see, it's even giving me suggestions like price and all, but I'm just going to click the specification. It's going to search and it's providing me with the specifications. Not only that, it's also giving me suggestions about other phones such as Galaxy S7, Nexus 6P, and uh, it just keeps on going. I cannot scroll it. So you click on share. Everything that was in the screen, or mostly which was available, would be shared here, including the Google Pixel price and etc. etc. The links and all. Of course, it's Twitter. You cannot type more than 150 characters, 140 characters. So it's of no use. That's how it works, guys. It's pretty much simple and easy to use. Once again, I'm telling you, just go. If you have a Google Keyboard app, or otherwise don't have, I hope it's an amazing one, download it, not promoting them. So click on Google. Now, type whatever you want, and that's it, it's done. Or you can use the search app also. Google, it's not working for some reason. I don't know why. So that's how the Google Gboard is, and it's available for Android. I wanted to give you a walkthrough. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give the video a thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter. I'll show you my username. It's called Geek Shrikant. It's, it's pretty much everything in Snapchat and everywhere. It's at Geek Shrikant only. Subscribe for more. I just told you that there's new video coming. I hope you'll also enjoy that. Hashtag thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Be happy, stay positive.